Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to update or upgrade your QNAP TS453A to 16 GB of RAM. As you can see this uh, Intel Celeron 3560 supports 8 GB of RAM but per channel. So if it's two channels it's 16 GB. Let's go for it. All you need is some uh, SOD RAM, 8 GB per stick. Um, this is 1600 and low voltage, so it has to have the um, low voltage. These are the crucial ones. They are supported and they are perfect. The other thing you need is a simple Phillips screwdriver. Let's go for it. <clears throat> so all you need to do is at the back, you can keep the drives in if you like. If you don't, you can remove them. Fantastic machine. You've got the for karaoke. Never used it, and I don't think I'll never will. Um, line out, two HDMI's, three USB, threes, and four LANs, amazing. Anyway, these four are for fans, are for single fan screws. Uh, these two are for the back plate of, of the audio ins and out. And there is hidden one, and I believe there's another one for the, for the back plate, but uh, we don't need to do that. So all we need to do is unscrew one, two, and three. Let's do it. Perfect, that's done. Since it's a, it's a pull out, all we need to do is to squeeze in and pull out. The easiest way I found is just to grab it on its side and push against your your thumbs oh, stubborn excellent so just lift it and as you can see you've got the drives in here this is the plate for the mics in and line out at the back hope you can see that you've got the fan and this is the motherboard and this is the very, very awesome design. So you've got your RAM accessed here. So DIMM slot one, DIMM slot two. You don't even need to get this protective layer out. All we need to do is to unpack this RAM. Oh wait. Plug this one in. So you just slide it in and snap. Remove this old one. Just release and it should spring up. Yep. This is a Kingston, I believe, if you can see that. Kingston 4 gig, 1.35, so low voltage. Okay, so let's replace the second one. Hopefully I don't drop this one. Excellent. Okay, same process, lift the flap, slide it in. Oh, this one is the other way, interesting. Perfect, that's it. Okay, I'll put this one here. So remember, this one has the flaps or the the latches from either side and at the top and also at the bottom. So make sure you place it so it doesn't stick out and it looks nice. that all the sides are correct and the back and the top wonderful screw those guys back
Cool. We are done. 16 gig. Okay, so now we are back and let's see if the system accepted the memory. Well, as you can see, I've got the screen up, so um, obviously it did. So let's just log in. Okay, I just updated the firmware, so I've got all this. Let's get rid of that. And let's find the details. Great, so as you can see, total memory, 16 gig, fantastic can be used for a virtual machine if you have any um, media server it will definitely speed up and help the resources and later on if they add any um, file system that is more heavy on RAM like ZFS or ButterFS BetterFS, uh, BTRFS, whatever you like then 16 gig will be really 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 awesome and I guess the main thing is that if you if you're deciding between four gig and eight gig, the, the cost of it is um, really significant as opposed to just buying two eight gig RAM sticks uh, from a computer shop, and you can get it upgraded in like under five minutes, which is amazing. And you still have the genuine four old four gig stick, so if you need to use the warranty, keep the stick and make sure you can apply it. Great. Thank you for watching and have a good one.